and girls, Miss Underwood has her Ohana shirt on and her beach hat. So those of you that know Miss Underwood well knows that Miss Underwood loves Disney movies and one of her very favorite Disney movies is Lilo and Stitch. And who can tell me what Ohana means? Ohana means family. That's right. So, I thought since I was reading us a bedtime story, I would kind of get into the spirit of being at the beach. So, I put on my beach hat with my Ohana pajamas. And so, the bedtime story that I am reading for us tonight is How to Catch a Mermaid. And this is from the uh, New York Times best-selling team, Adam Wallace and Andy Eggleton. So we are gonna read a story and see if we can figure out the next time that we are at a beach, how to catch a mermaid. And I know for a fact that one of the boys and girls in Miss Underwood's class has been to the beach recently and she might still be there. So Harper, if you are watching, pay very close attention. This book might just help you catch a mermaid. So, let's take a read to our story. Last week, I saw a mermaid. It's not just something I pretend. I'd really like to catch her, and she could be my friend. We have the best adventures. I'd learn her mermaid ways. We'd tour her mermaid city and we could swim for days. And that's the little girl thinking. And that's the mermaid's tail. Hey you two, come follow me. I need you to be on my team. The water's where we need to plan our mermaid catching scheme. She calls and gets together a team. Uh -huh. Think. Do you hear any rhyming words in this book? But how to catch a mermaid? Don't learn this in school. We'll need to build a gentle trap to start near the tide pool. That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. First, I'll have this jewelry box. She'll love this bait I bought her. She can't resist a treasure chest. Oh no, it's in the water. Well, mermaids love bright, shiny things. A crown will catch her eye. We'll lure her in with this new trap and then our net will fly. Keep hearing at the end of the sound, at the end of the words, when it sounds alike, that's where we hear the rhyming words. So keep listening for those sounds at the end to see how many you can hear. Her seaweed lasso snatched the crown. We need a different plan. Let's put a sparkly necklace down inside a giant clam. That mermaid sure is smart. She's kind of hard to catch, kind of like that leprechaun was. She switched the necklace with a rock to stop the clam from snapping. Now she has another prize. We'll need some better trapping. We made a lasso of our own. We hid in the seaweed. She swam so fast for us to catch. Oh, when will we succeed? And look, they, they hid, and look, they've got all these treasures hidden. She's so fast at swimming. Now let's try to switch it up and play some honky beats. Maybe we'll draw her in. Oh no, they're sharks. Retreat. I do more than retreat. Miss Underwood would be running on water if there were sharks in the water. We escaped from all the sharks, but that was a little scary scene. 
but now we'll get up, but now we get to up our game with this cool submarine. Remember a submarine is a boat that goes all the way down under the water. This submarine has robot arms to catch our fish, fishy lass, but this mermaid can't be caught. She is too fast. Time to pull out all the stops, but we have to be quite sneaky. But she heard our trap from far away. What? That treasure chest was creaky. Creak. That's what it says. That old wooden treasure chest is like creaking open. Look at him. Look at her. She's far away. She can hear it. The sharks are back. We're doing what can we do? We used up all our traps and bait. Without some help, we're through. Who do you think's going to help her? I don't know. I really hope that mermaid's a nice mermaid. I really hope she comes and helps him. Our mermaid comes to save the day. She made a trap to save us. She scares the sharks and skips us up. She really is courageous. Look at that mermaid. <gasps> she saved the day. She's blowing that horn so loud and it scares the sharks away. Hooray, we're safe and back on land. Three cheers for our mermaid. Say hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. We'll miss her smart and clever tricks. We wish she could have stayed. No waving goodbye to her. And that is the end. So, the mermaid didn't get caught in this book, but she ended up saving them from those scary sharks. Now, I can tell you, if I was swimming in water and there were sharks, Miss Underwood would not be in that water anymore. But I felt like we needed a little vacation today. And, you know, we've talk, we talk a lot about family on these videos. And that family doesn't always mean blood. But you are part of my family if you are watching these videos. Because Miss Underwood chooses you to be a part of her family. And I really hope that you are staying safe and that you are following the rules of washing your hands and brushing your teeth, taking a bath. And now, since this is our evening story, it's time for us to get to bed. But tonight, I wish you mermaid dreams and maybe the little boy some pirate dreams and treasures in your sleep. But before you go, I wanna tell you that I love you from the tops of your heads to the bottom of your feet. And I can't wait until I see you tomorrow, right here, same time, same place. And boys and girls, make sure that you are growing your brain every day. You can do already, you can do Zern, and you can read, read, read. You also can write and draw. And those are ways that you can grow your brain without having to be in school. And that will make you super duper smart. And I can't wait to see how much smarter you are than when we last saw each other in person. So I'm gonna give you a virtual hug for the evening. Give you a kiss, good night. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Good night. And I'm going to dream that I am laying on the beach tonight. See you later.